Growing your own peas is really simple and fresh picked peas taste so much better than the ones that you buy in the supermarket. They're a cool season crop enjoying temperatures of about 13 to 18 degrees C so they're ideal for growing in the UK climate. You can even grow them in containers if you're really short of space. People are often confused by the different types of peas that are available but it's quite straightforward really. There are two main types, shelling peas and edible podded peas. As the name suggests, Shelling peas are removed from the pod before eating and the pod is discarded. These are what most people would recognise as normal garden peas. Whereas the edible podded types, such as monge 2 and sugar snap peas, can be eaten whole. They're grown in exactly the same way. The main difference is that they're harvested at different stages of maturity. Today I'm going to be sowing a variety called Misty. You can sow them directly into the ground from March to June. But if the ground is still cold and wet, then it's a good idea to start them off in pots in a cold greenhouse and plant them out later. Choose a sunny site on moist, fertile, well-drained soil and create a wide flat bottom trench at a depth of about four centimetres. A draw hoe is quite useful for this job. It's a good idea to water the length of the trench before sowing, as this helps the seed to germinate, particularly in drier soils. Sow pea seeds at a distance of about five centimetres apart. You can sow two parallel rows in each 15 centimetre wide trench. If you want to sow more rows of peas, then you'll need to set each trench about 75 centimetres apart. Then simply cover the seed with soil and water along the length of the trench to settle the seed. Don't forget to mark each row so that you know where you've planted them. For a continuous crop of homegrown peas, it's a good idea to sow a new batch of peas every 10 to 14 days. Peas produce tendrils to help them climb upwards, so you'll need to provide some kind of support for them as they grow. You can erect chicken wire or netting around them, but one of the simplest methods is to insert twiggy sticks all the way along each row for the peas to climb up. It's best done at when they're about four inches high. While your peas are growing, you'll need to keep them well watered and you may need to protect them from birds. This is easily achieved by covering them with some netting. Shelling peas can be harvested between 11 and 15 weeks from sowing, once the peas are swollen in the pods. Monge too are harvested while young, where the pods are still flat. And sugar snap peas are harvested when semi-mature, just as the pods are beginning to swell. The pods at the bottom of each plant will mature first, so begin harvesting from low down and work your way up as the pods mature. Make sure that you harvest your peas regularly to encourage plenty more pods to be produced. With staggered sowings and regular picking, you'll have a good supply of fresh peas throughout the season. <laughs>